Hello, this is a tutorial video of Fusic 4000. So I'm going to show how to create a very basic preset and how to understand the difference between the master layer and the layers. First thing you have here, you click here on the layer selector, it's going to show a pop-up menu. And you have the master layer. The master layer can add effects and MIDI modules, but nothing else. And the master layer is the options that are going to affect all the other layers. We also have a limiter on the master layer that can be bypassed for all presets just by clicking on the Vuzic 4000 logo and selecting disable limiter is going to affect all future presets this is a global option or you can just bypass on this preset specifically by just unclicking the button here and it's going to turn off the limiter on this preset now I'm going to add an effect here so I'm going to add a stereo delay and I can adjust the knobs by holding the right click so I can fine tune the knob instead of the left click, which is a coarse tuning. Or I can just hold shift and left click is going to do the same thing. And add a chorus here. Now on my first layer, every layer needs at least one amplitude envelope. So the first envelope I'm going to add is automatic going to be the amp envelope and I need a sound generator at least one amplitude envelope and one sound generator is required per layer so it works so I'm going to use the combo slater the salt of waveform and I'm going to press here just to play a note let me adjust the release envelope again I'm using the right click and I'm going to find the weight because the comb oscillator, if you check the model description, is a three oscillator. And we have defined the variation from each oscillator. Now you can hear that the master effects are not making any sound yet. Because I have to use the send effect to the master layer. a very easy to use program and modules besides the master modules and the, in this case uh, the top modules but uh, envelopes filters oscillators and modules depending on the type of module you have the module options in this case the envelope here have module options that are hidden I can use note velocity to attack the K release, invert note velocity to attack the K release, and things like that. And I also have on a combo slater the same thing, module options. I can use fix, fix a pitch, and I can also disable the global vibrato and tremolo. The global vibrato and tremolo are used when you have a modulation LFO, and you, you assign this modulation FLO to the vibrato or tremolo. So let's send to later tremolo. I'm going to key sync this LFO. That's very easy to use. It's no, I can also use the output from modules. Not all modules have output, but in this case, modulation models have. I can uh, oscillate another aspect of the audio. So in this case, I'm going to use oscillate the pulse with modulation. Let me check here. 
Now let me disable the sound to layer trim. And I can also adjust the amount on the destination. You can see here input polyphonic and I have the amount minimum and maximum value. I just hold the right button instead of the left. If the user left is going to remove the wire, but the right button is going to adjust the amount. So I want a bit less so it doesn't go all the way from the post modulation. <laughs> I'm going to activate the tremolo again. And just a bit of extra time. a very simple layer option. I can also add another layer if I want, but from this tutorial this is going to be just this kind of of modules going to use in you know, just one layer. I can also adjust the voices here. I'm going to use monophonic. I'm going to select glide. So the one note glides to the other and I'm going to use automated glide. So it just just glides when I hold one key and press another one. So it's very simple to use. I can also use unison mode. The unison is going to use all this voice is selected here for a single sound with the two net voices and in this case I'm not using any filter so let's put again 16 voids, no glide I'm going to use a filter here we have three filter options for now on this tutorial the first filter is a Moog style filter the second one is again another Moog, Moog style filter, but with a different sound design. This second filter opens to 22,000 her hertz or 20,000 hertz. I don't remember. Let me check. Yes, 20,000 hertz. I'm going to check with this one. <laughs> use another LFO now. So the second LFO we're going to use just hold the output and drag to the frequency input. And I'm going to use a random waveform. And if the filter is smooth option is turn on so I'm going to turn off this mode. It smooths from one point to another. On the LFO I have to select on the module options to positive only output. And I can adjust the wet and dry from the filter so I can hear the original sound plus the filter. Let me turn effects again. So 
this is it for this tutorial video. You can have an idea how to create your own presets with simple modules and using the modulation wires and everything else on the program. Thanks for watching.